live from beautiful downtown Hialeah at the Goblin's Heights. He slices, he dices, he even juliets, whatever the hell that is. The unpredictable Mr. Juan Navarro and guest comic reviewer Andre Oropacia. Give it up, guys, for uh, Andre and Juan, yeah. I love it. A new guy named uh, Mario Lopez. Uh, good guy. How's it looking over there? Oh, music is not coming in through good, but whatever. We're live at the heist. Carla's on. Hello, Carla. How are you? And. Very cool. I found it. That's it. They even saw your thing. It's terrible, bro. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. The computer didn't want to work for me today. It's sick of the fucking theme song. I like it. And, and everybody else likes it too. Andre loves it. Look at it. We got a big smile on there. It's my alarm clock now. It is my alarm clock. Ding, 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 ding. I love it, bro. Okay. How are you guys doing? It's another Thursday. It's another claim sale. Uh, There's our comic review claim sale. Uh, we're coming to you live from Goblin's Heist here in Hialeah, 54 East 5th Street. Uh, open every day from 12 to 9. Uh, this week, uh, you guys demolished the wall. The wall's nice and punched out. Um, good to see. Good to see that everybody's picking up comics and picking up new comics and everything else. Uh, how was your week? Very good, very good. Uh, I was able to read at least four comic books today. Uh, they were all good, so I'm excited to start reviewing them. Yeah, that's yeah. nice first world problems there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Trying to get some comics. Yeah, somebody could be, war. like, you know, the third world war zone and they're they tuning in right now. And they're like, did they read the comics? <laughs> I hope you have read the comics. <laughs> I have to walk seven days for fresh water, but they hope they read the comic. What happened this episode? John did not get his first music on. My life is now less bright because Dom did not get his music on. Anyway, so going on this week, uh, you got uh, Last Witch number two. And I want to pull the stuff we read first. So what else did we read? Oh, I'm going to put this up. Flash number one, second printing. Just in case people want to... Oh, I, I did read that one. Four With bucks and four bucks. I did read that one first. the first time. Look how proud you are. You're like, I read that one. But Last Witch. Last Witch. Uh, I read Last, last Witch. Witch. La last Witch. Wish. Last Witch. Okay, Last Wish. Yeah. Kicked it up a notch this, this episode. Yeah. Really did. It went from being, you know, all Disney, lovey-dovey, to like, oh, yeah. they're actually fucking eating kids and killing them. Mm -hmm. It just... With wide right, right? What did no, you yeah, say? I flipped the switch. For oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, these witches make plenty of wise. It's like an amateur. Oh yeah. 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 It's it's not like they're like trying to scare them. These witches are really Hey Mario, how are you? They're fucking eating kids, so yeah. they only show one so far, so you don't know how bad the other I mean, so it's like the Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, well yeah, yeah very reminiscent of Hansel and Gretel. Oh, it's yeah. uh Hans Christian Sanderson. Well if the story is is, is Swedish or Scottish? That's Swedish. Uh, Irish or Scottish? It, yeah, I think, I think it's Scottish. Scottish. Yeah, it's yeah. Scottish. Yeah. It's, it's got a Scottish well, thing to it. Fucking Scottish. All right. That's and it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty it's, much. it's no, a even demon the, the girl sounds, yeah, the, that is going to take cool. over the world. And his, his handmaids are three witches. Yep. yep. No, three witches means the three fingers. Actually, it's four of them. It's There's four, four of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one witch already killed the little... Well, I don't want to spoil first appearance yeah. of the witch. There you go. First yeah. appearance. <laughs> well, this is the first appearance of the witch. And now, originally, you guys said you know you were saying it was good for all ages to read. What do you? The you first say? book still the first is. One was, yeah. I still think well, it is. The series, you know. This I, one not so much. The first ten no, minutes no, no, of Friday no, no, the Thirteenth no, no, no. are great. The rest, I, I think, you know, a, a mature ten or twelve year old could handle this. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Is it gory or just like no no no, 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 no. There's like almost zero gore. Yeah, yeah. but it's, 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 it's uh, there's a lot of close-up shots of the witch's teeth. That's like good. And uh, the bones. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the worst thing. That's true. Like to Germanic and European folklore. Like you know how like we clean it up when it gets over here oh, and yeah. it has a nice happy ending. All the ones over there are like miserable. Like Hansel and Gretel never escaped. They yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, they like, yeah. yeah. Hans, Hans Christian Anderson. They were all horrible stories. Yeah. And the brothers Grimm. Yeah. The brothers Grimm. I don't know. Yeah. Hans Christian Anderson. Hans Christian Anderson is. Uh, no, he wrote some fucked up stories too. Wait. But oh no, yeah, the brothers Grimm. I got a confused. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, he did like, write some pretty fucked up stories too. Uh, but 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 they do show a silhouette of the kid, 
being pulled out of the oven like on a pizza tray or something. I don't yeah. think it was yeah. on. But it was like, it was like a slight shot. Like you didn't yeah, see. yeah, it's like a silhouette of the, yeah, of like the kid being roasted. Yeah, I think it was another kid, not her. Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you didn't read the, you didn't get to read the. All right, all right. How much? Yeah, right. This is a review show, not a fucking story time. With okay, uh, excellent book. Excellent book. Excellent book. Uh, book. I, I give show. it four out of five stars. Four out of five stars. Yeah. Yeah. Solid four. All right, so last solid, minute, solid four from John. Two, issue one is uh, right on. I think they're going to do a second printing on number one already. But I didn't get a pick of the week this week because if I had to have a pick of the week, I'd actually, I actually really enjoyed it. I really, You know what? I am going to call it the pick of the week for me. Wow. I am going to call it the pick of the week. Even though I wasn't going to have a pick of the week because I didn't get to read the other books that I really wanted to read because they sold out, like Fantastic Four and a couple other books. But that's what it is. So, yeah, you know what? I am going to give it the the unexpected pick of the week. All right. You know, that's... that's this exactly. is where we should say, how many balonies? And then we throw it How many balonies? <laughs> I give it four, four balonies. Four balonies. Yeah. We got to do it, bro. We got to schedule the... He the, really thinks you're going to take off your shirt and let us throw bologna at you. He's giving me a twenty dollar discount on what I owe. So. <laughs> so for that's what it costs for you to get baloney thrown at you. If you'd like to see a half naked dwarf get baloney thrown at you, listen. Right to PO box. If, if, no, no, listen, let's put it to vote. If people want to see little John hey, have baloney thrown on his back to see if it sticks, we'll do it. We should get on a full moon, so it's harder to stick. A lot more hair. You know? A lot more. A lot more hair. I was like, I'm like, I'm right, looking at you like, going? what's the scientific basis of a full moon and baloney that sticking on it? I don't understand. Alex Calvo, hey, what's going on, man? What's up, Alex? Uh, so going for it, and then Flash number one. We talked about it before. Really good intro to what the future state is. It's it's a weird Flash story, but issue two kind of made it worth. It's it's one of the more interesting of the future state books going on right now. And uh, let's see how it goes forward. It is cool. Uh, I love the fact that he's jacked up with all the weapons. Yeah, if you look at the cover, it's just, uh, it is uh, the original Flash with um, all of the rogues gallery weapons on him. So the story was pretty cool. I think it would make for a killer cosplay. Oh my god, killer cosplay. That's her answer to everything. It's a killer cosplay. Oh my god, it totally is. Anyway, going forward, I wanted to flip through stuff. Hey, what else have we read? Anybody read? I did black, read this. Black Hammer Visions. I read it. I talked about it on Tuesday. Excellent fucking book. Really fun. If you're already into the Black Hammer universe and you know the basic stories, if you read at least four or five issues, this is a great one uh, to get into. And it deals with Gail, who is like a Shazam character. She's really a 50-year-old woman trapped in a 10-year-old's body, and the 10-year-old has a power of like Shazam. And she yeah. can't get it. She says the word and she can't get out of it. So it's like her whole setup. And uh, but then this is like a story written by Pat Oswald based on her and her going to school and having friends and then her having to leave the school and then watching them grow up. So it's really cool. Pat Oswald did the thing. The next issue is done by Jeff John, so it's a revolving writers coming in and working on it. So it's kind of cool. Well, being stuck in a fifty-year-old body, I can tell you right now, I would never want to get out of my ten-year-old body. I'd be in my 10 year old body all day long playing video games, mm-hmm. playing on Steven <sighs> Totters. Mm-hmm. You're a large 10 year old. I am, I am a large 10 year old. You're a Benjamin Button. A Benjamin I would Button. love yeah. that disease. You have the Benjamin Button disease. Except I have shit. Yeah, especially if you look like Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. after Colonel Weir- uh, Weirdo? Or is you can, like you don't have to read okay, Colonel, okay. Colonel Weirdo. Wasn't that, that weird? Yeah. I'm trying to see what other stuff did we read? What other stuff did we read? Oh, that one, yep. 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 And also, Morbius 1, I don't think it's a number one, I think it's a, it's not an ongoing series from what I can see. But it is a one. I don't think it's a one shot. shot. Yes. Oh, is it really a one shot? The way it ended, it might have been. Yeah, some other stuff. Oh, hey, yeah, look. All right. Hey, hey, special hey. guest, the guy who cleans the parking lot. <laughs> hey! That guy, hey! Because <laughs> <laughs> that with a leaf blower. <laughs> that guy really blows. That guy's cool. Yeah, he just went. Parking lot guy. Did you see how he did up his car the other day? He yeah. put the like LED lights on the on the on the wheels, and then he had lights inside and shit. He was like showed it to me, like really proud. He's like, bing, bing, bing. And then he puts on the thing, and he has like LED lights on the wheels, and he has LED lights in there. And he goes, mira, you got the uh, con la música. Then he plugs into his phone, and the you know, lights change color in the car. Ah, uh, that's pretty hard. Yeah, I know. But he was so proud of it. I was like, oh, but isn't man. he like, oh, yeah, man, Tim, it is. Isn't he like a six-year-old man too, doing stuff like that? Whatever, bro. Let him have his fucking fun, oh, I bro. Guess, uh, I heard he's good at magic too. Oh, 
I know, right? We find that secretly you have a fucking badass that can take anybody out. You want to see my dick? Yeah. Want to see my dick? Oh, that, that's something else that he wants. Yeah. And he always has to come in at this time. Yeah. Yeah, hey, what the fuck? It's after nine. We're like the only thing that's open. Yeah. You know? Because we're open late sometimes here at Goblin's Eyes. Yes, we are. Now, about Morbius, I'm hoping that they do some movie tie-in covers with, like, Jared Leto on the... Cover. Why? Why? You want Jared Leto on your covers? You I'd like to get it signed. It's just so dreamy. Is that what it is? Jared Leto's going to be Morbius. Yeah. Yeah, he is. It's already done. The movie should be done. It should have came out by now. But he wants, yeah. like, a cover with him on it. Yeah. Looking at him, sweaty. Yeah. I want to suck a lot of people's job. You know, I didn't think he'd be a, a good fit. Till I saw the trailer. We get it. You want to fuck Jared Leto? We get that. We get that. Like, no, it's man, not so it's much really that. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in, well, two of my favorite scenes are when he's getting his pretty much body chopped apart by. Uh, well, we're not talking about homosexuality. People have some uh, <laughs> comments here. Uh, Alex Cabo, I enjoyed Morbius, but felt rushed. Yeah, it's like a one shot, so it feels like get in, get out. But it was a good story. I actually dug it when Mr. Hyde was in it, so that was kind of cool and the little. Little twist there when he was like, "Oh, you fool! You, you know, you yeah. think you can run that? I don't want to run that." Man, throw that cool little thing there. And, and and Mr. Hyde's a dick, dude. Who? Yeah, he was. Hyde's a, a fucking dude, asshole. Yeah. Like, I like Hyde in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Well, this is the the Jekyll and Hyde from Marvel. I was the hoping, guy that was yeah. a Daredevil villain. I was hoping the ending was gonna have like a big reveal, you know, with uh with the injection that he gave him. Yeah. That he was gonna form the kid out of something that would have been cool. But yeah. I, if it's a one shot, I can see why. They yeah. 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 You know, so and it gets into the past, so it was pretty good. Uh, also, David, Ma- Dave Messa, are you gonna, are you guys gonna different? Var- oh, gonna have the different variants for the last Ronin next week? Hopefully. I know we ordered a crap ton, and we yeah. have some variants. Um, if you're calling, did let me know. Uh, we'll try to put something together, but I won't. I don't know until the shipment gets here. But like I said, last time we got allocated, and there's a bunch of other stuff. Berserk got pushed back another week. Yep. Yeah. So this is the thing. If it got pushed back another week, that's the same week as Ronin. That's fucking terrible. So it's all like everything's dropping at the same time. It's gonna be a big bill. Yeah. Damn. Dave says dibs. All right. We'll see. Let's see what we can do for you, man. Well, it'll be Tuesday night. Be here. We'll be live. Yeah. Tuesday night we'll be doing the new claim sale, the new comic sale. After we do the pull list. Then we do the claim sale. So if you're a subscriber, you guys get your stuff. Yeah, if you subscribed already, don't tell us to subscribe tonight. Yeah. Because yeah. I can see people texting right now. I want to subscribe. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing, too. To subscribe, got to come in you give, and got to give me your, your phone number. And we have to be face to face. And for if we really don't know you, you're limited to four books in the beginning. And then from there, once we do a month or two, then we'll expand. Yeah. So we've had people come in here and be like, I want this and that and this, and then they don't appear. Like Brandy. No, Brandy. But he appears, Brandy but he gets appears. But he's like, I want to take this for your man. You hold this for me man. next week. You know, hold this for me. Yeah. And you know, this is that. Damn, we're putting, we're putting Brandy out. It's kind of, we got to. You know. Pick up your books, Brandy. Yeah. Does he look like the <laughs> boxer guy from the Bugs Bunny cartoons? He does. He looks, exactly, he looks exactly like, like him. He looks exactly like him. Right? And there's a kid who comes plays magic here that looks like Pete Puma. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey? He's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, like how me give me a headache. How many lumps? Oh, three or four. <laughs> yes, that's what happens, folks. We make fun of you as soon as you leave the store. If you ever come here, you think, these guys make fun of me? Yeah. <laughs> We fucking do. Yeah, we do. It's the only payment we really get. <laughs> the only thing we get out of this is we make fun of our customers when they're not looking. We won't do it to your face, though. That's our guarantee. Exactly. Um, but we will do it on show. <laughs> oh, okay, Marlon. Uh, Marlon would like a variant. Let's see how many I get, Marlon. Uh, and then he said uh, he lo- he dug Fear Case. Yeah, Fear, Fear Case, Case is really good. Really good. Fear Case is really good. I, I think we're 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 uh, Department of Truth was Guayaba con queso. Uh, this one is just more, you know, full castle. You know? Yeah, no, no, no I, I like it, especially the end. Yeah. Do you have any love for Fear Case? No. Yeah, we're gone. Yeah, we had all the very. When, when, when I read a book, I suggest it. I want I, that's what that really would have been the pick of the week if we would have had one. Mm-hmm. Don't have one, so it, it's the pick of the week if it would have been here. Oh, uh, Alex. Yeah, uh, Alex is saying, John, Juan got me subscribed now. Not sure how happy the wife is. Oh, nice. <laughs> Remember. I always use this as an explanation for your significant others. This goes for guys and girls, because sometimes girls have boyfriends that don't like them buying all this shit. 
uh, for your significant others. Just remember, you could be spending it on other bullshit. This for sure is not going to get you laid by anybody. So you're in a safe place. You know? Yeah, you're in a safe place. This and it's Valentine's Day coming up too. Yeah. Are you guys gonna have a sale for Valentine's Day or no? Yeah, because they all, baby, please, can you never know. Buy me this fucking Honey, amazing, buy me a pop. amazing <laughs> fantasy fourteen with the first appearance of Amadeus Cho. Damn. Please, which we have in stock. Yeah, for only two hundred bucks goes there for two fifty online. Damn. Anyway, imagine if if your girl got so hot because you brought her like a copy of a comic book and you get some. Then you woke up. Damn. <laughs> Anyway, going forward, okay, here's also King and Black issue two, second print, first the first issue, second print sold out. We're putting this out here just in case you need to catch up. Excellent fucking series. The King and Black has been a real fucking event. It's uh, one of those things. So we're on issue three or four? We're on issue three. I like that Iron Man cover, to be honest with you. That Iron Man cover is one of my favorite ones that I've seen in the whole series. Also going up also is Rorschach number, what the fuck is the number? Issue five. I have not read it yet, but Rorschach's been a great fucking series. Hopefully this keeps going. It's a 12-issue series. Tom King, former writer of Batman, he's doing his magic on that one. It's really good. I want to buy a comic for Valentine's. E- yeah, even, even buy I- that comic for Valentine's. Even Alex says that's a dope cover. Yeah. yeah says so it's, it's dope. A, it's dope. Then, it's then dope. he threw himself on the floor on a piece of cardboard and spun on his back. Yeah. That's what he did. Maybe he's just having an epileptic attack. <laughs> You think the first break dancer was just a really athletic epileptic? Yeah, he's just having a seizure. He's just like, duck, duck, duck. <laughs> oh, look, I have the other. Here's the other Rorschach cover for anybody who's interested. Yeah, that was nice. Those are beautiful fucking covers. I like those. What else? What else what did you guys read? I read Scout's Honor. Oh, Scout's Honor. I'm going to put that out. So going on, Scout's Honor. That was pretty interesting. Was, did uh, you read it? I haven't read it. Okay. I it's... read issue one online, and then oh, that uh, one of one. those people. That is issue one. Oh, no, it's issue two. Issue two. Okay, that's a young girl that's pretending to be a boy, and it's kind of—I don't know what to say. What, man? Like, yeah, you okay. literally don't okay, know okay, what okay, to okay. say. Okay. 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 Uh, it's another post-apocalyptic story. Here's a review with John. Ah, <laughs> I, I, I kind of dug it, ah. but I—I've I, read this before. It's—I've been there, and I think I've done that. Except now it's a girl. Pretending to be a boy, but then there's a boy that kind of looks like a girl with long hair. That kind of threw me for a loop for a moment there. Then they kiss. Then the girl doesn't. Is like, oh my god, does he know that I'm a girl? But then she says, no, he can't know that I'm a girl. Then it goes into the gay thing now again. I'm like, is this going? But is that the plot of the story? No, 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 no. This, That's <laughs> probably this, what the fuck are you That's talking like about, man? Like, are you just reliving a personal experience? It might have been. I might have. I might have dreamt this part. Is this something you suppressed? Oh, but, but, I know the comic has like, nothing to do. No, it, that it, was like one scene. It's in cool. There. No, that, that, it's one scene. But okay. But I'm like, okay, whatever. She, she goes and their their her dad is getting killed by these guys called the, the highwaymen. And she comes out of there, fucking balls blazing, and she just takes all these guys out. Okay. She hangs one of them and uses it as a dummy, and everybody shoots the dummy. Well, not it's not a dummy; it's an actual guy, and everybody shoots that guy hanging there from his neck, mm-hmm. thinking that it's her, and it wasn't. Which that was pretty cool. I like that effect. Okay. And then she's gonna be part of the Eagles, and they told the guys, "Well, listen, you can mourn. You can." Says, "No, I have no time to mourn. I want to be an Eagle Scout or whatever, because they're called scouts." Oh, no, 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 no. So it is cool, but it, it, it then again, it goes to a twist. It's like it's a, it's a girl kissing a guy. That, that, that so thinks, what's the setting? Is this like in modern? Time? No, no, post apocalyptic world. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. what it is. But the main point was the girl was a girl, but she's pretty to be a boy. But what but, the hell did you talk about? No, that? because the, well, that's but, the main character. The, that's the main character. Okay. And she disguised yeah. herself as a as I'll a just boy because she wants to be a scout. Okay. But uh-huh. the the law predicts that girls can't be scouts. And this is a post-apocalyptic world. Yes. Okay. I don't That's know why, why you have to preface this. I, I don't know why can... girls can't be scouts. I think girls should do anything they want to do. Uh huh. That's why you have to preface it with that. Yes. It's a post-apocalyptic world, so things are going to be stupid. You know? Yeah. The girls should be able to do whatever they want to do. If they can't be scouts, then I don't know what kind of post-apocalyptic world we're going to be living in if girls can't be scouts. In there. Say even bigger. Which stories are you guys talking about? Oh, the scout. Yeah. Not All right. Sorry about it. I, I go on a tangent sometimes. Yeah. Homesick pilots. Yes. 
That was John's review of a comic book. Same thing with Homesick Pilots. Well, I, I I read it, but you said you were kind of like getting off the wagon. Uh, ooh, uh I'm, I'm, no, I need to go. I need to finish the ride. Yeah. I need to know where this is gonna take me. It's issue four, right? The house is haunted, so the girl that is trapped in the house is having to bring back old pieces of the house, like the refrigerator. The refrigerator she had to bring back, and the refrigerator had was cursed also, and it was made to whoever had that refrigerator would be starving all the time, and they would have to constantly eat. And the refrigerator from that house would kill people by starving them to death, because. But they were they were they were eating, but they would starve to death. From imagine that you're constantly hungry and you're eating eating eating, but you don't get fatter. You just keep getting skinnier, and you die of starvation. That's what the refrigerator would do. To you. That sounds like a messed up version of the very little toaster. No, uh, that sounds like thinner. Was Stephen King. Well, the little, yeah, well, the spring yeah. So, okay, that's, yeah. that's it, what it's the fridge that that's doing thinner it. Yeah. David King. And right. thinner, it was... Uh, Wait, so the fridge is, it is what's controlling everything? Like the house? No, 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 no. The house... But the fridge is... The house is cursed. The house was owned by some guy who used to sell horses. Hence the horseshoe. Okay. Okay. And there was a lot of people murdered and bad things happened to the house. So she's trying to bring back spirits. Yeah. From the from the house, in that refrigerator, there was a fat person that was killed inside the refrigerator. Yeah, Mary, that Mary up Mary already says Stephen King wrote that already. There you go. In that voice, that's what she said. It's not a bad book. It's a good book. It's a horror, and it's based in the '90s. So if you love '90s kind of themes, even the haircuts and the art style, yeah. very '90s. Yeah. Anything else you read, Andrew? Yeah, I read I got, uh, Green Lantern was great. Oh, this Green Lantern, Green Lantern was awesome. I like I, that I was story. able to. The last story was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it ruins anything. Uh, Hal Jordan's back, no, okay. Green Lantern, and uh, he's trying to find all the Green Lantern corpse. Yeah. But uh, he's like traveling every sector, trying to find everybody, and then at the end, it's a pretty cool ending for that. I'm not gonna ruin it. But, okay. uh, the first story is good too. It is another two issue one, so that's that's the reason why I asked. Yeah, that's why I, was, I, I didn't know that. So when I got to the end and it said continuing in 2021, I was like, oh. Okay. But it was a really cool book. I think that was my pick of the week. Yeah. Ah, oh, there you go, Green Lantern. Yeah, Andre's pick of the week. Oh yeah. They auto press are guaranteed. There you All go. All the way guaranteed. Auto press has yeah. stamp of approval. Yeah. yeah, I like that. So yeah, now these are good, and they're you know they're a little bit more pricey because they're six ninety nine, but the stories have been really good, and you have a bunch of different stories. That's yeah, I like nice the other color. one about the space station. Did they conclude that one? The space station. Oh no, one that, one that didn't continue. The one with like uh, like the Sinestro corps or something. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they didn't continue. I think it, they just finished off there. And then and they just moved. Oh, okay, because that was cool. Yeah. That was a, that was a kind of I was that's expecting a, for that, but they didn't. That's a really nice cover, too. Yeah, I love it. And also, we got Excalibur 18. This is going forward. I haven't read it. Anybody read it? No. The other book that I read was Kick-Ass versus Alex, Zico. Alex Cowbell says uh, the first one was good. So, yeah. How is Kick-Ass versus... Uh, I, like I haven't read any of it yet. If you it. like violence and gore, Kick-Ass yes. versus Hit Girl is the book for you. It's... Holy shit, they just... Whoever's drawing this is just finding new ways of killing people. Mm. <laughs> you know, imagine a sword across the face between you know, between the nose and cutting the... Mm. Just not the whole head off. Just imagine your face being sliced. Half the head. Half the head mm -hmm. From the nose up. It's really fucked up ways and, of killing people. A uh, sword being thrown as a spear and being thrown at somebody's jugular. Mm. Fun stuff. Good for all ages. Yeah. It girl, it's, it's it girl. So she's not holding any punches back. No. And kick ass, you know. I love the new character, kick ass. Uh, the old. The, the get in your phone, bro. Yeah, there you go. He doesn't know how to use a droid, but he refuses to get an iPhone. Mm -hmm. It'd probably be worse. For no me. way. Oh, well, it would actually do what you tell it to do. Exactly. Holy crap! Uh, God forbid. Yes, let's have a. So kick ass is a very good book. Uh, I'm enjoying the read. I'm enjoying the ride. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens at the end. So if you haven't picked up Kick-Ass, highly recommend it. If you like the TV show, I mean the TV show, if you like the movie and the series, I I, I really, really highly, highly recommend it. Great book. When are they going to make the, 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 the Hit Girl movie? Mm -hmm. That was, was, she, was she in the original movie or no? She, yeah. She was? Yeah. Oh, was she the daughter of the... Of the yeah. Oh, that's what she, she did. Was she, she was in both movies. Larry Moran. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. She was. She, she grew up really cute. Uh, I don't know. 
But I heard rumors that they were going to have a hiccup. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You heard rumors. They, were, oh, well. so the fucking, they, they should. Do, they do I look like right? fucking Deadline? Or I look like they should get... Robin a, Future State number two, by the way. They should do a Hit Girl movie. No, I think they shouldn't. I think they should. They should let it die. No, man. Hit Girl's such a badass character. She's already grown up, though. She's not going to be Hit Girl. She's gonna. She's a woman already. Yeah, who well, says? Yeah. She can still be Hit Girl. She's only in her 20s. Man. Not going to be Hit Sorry. Woman. You'll never be Hit Woman. Hit Girl. Hit woman is already she's it's, married. It's a, the whole gimmick is for her to be a young girl. I fucking, I've seen her a couple of things. She's already yeah. She's too old. Listen, listen. She can't be hit woman. Hit woman already has kids. Mm-hmm. Her, she has to go home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Damn, sex is so much. She's wow. busy. Wow. She's busy. Way to go, boomer. She's busy. She's she's busy. Got to get her shit straight. Wow. And I, and I appreciate that boomer comment. <laughs> get in the kitchen. Put that rifle down and get in the kitchen, little lady. <laughs> Jesus. Make me a sandwich. Unfortunately, yeah. And, then, and here I am agreeing with you. I mean. You <laughs> See, Alex agrees with me. Get home and make a sandwich for John. There you go. Um, Robin Future State, uh, issue two. That co- Danny Warren Johnson cover. Is insane. His has been some of my favorite covers of recent. Too many things are insane to you. You know that, right? I mean, you gotta admit that's an insane. Like, you go outside and you're like, that gumball machine. That's insane. Right? <laughs> you know, if the gumball these machine bushes were to become insane. sentient and attack people, that would and then that when you show them an actually insane person, like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm the insane person here today. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And they, they were socialists too. Oh, oh, well, I wasn't there for that one. Yeah, I was so was upset. Like, oh my God. Not I can do is smile. We, we, we should do that as a... I, was, I just wanted to scream. As a message at the end of a public service announcement. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Is there any, did he, you read Thunderbolts? He, did, he didn't buy Thunderbolts. anything. He just yeah. stood there and he it's stared at me as Thunderbolts. I bagged books. That's, 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 it's really cool. Yeah. Go on. I was bagging and, and, and pricing books and he was just staring at me and he made his girl stand there and she was like, well, what time is it? Uh, hello? Like, she couldn't drop any more hints and she Man. wanted to leave. And he was literally just staring at me. This is where I books. wish we could cut to a dramatic, like, re- like re- re- it, reacting of, of this reenactment and, of and, it. And I didn't want to talk anymore because... I want to have the Unsolved Mysteries guy come out. I, I didn't want to talk anymore because I am uh, very far right. I told you, you sometimes have to hurt the nerds. Yeah. You gotta hurt them. You gotta give them a little nip. You gotta give them a little hit sometimes. So a lot, a lot of people are, stuck. are gonna hate me because I am, I am a Republican. I used to be a Democrat. I'm hey, what is that getting that? Who cares? That and doesn't she, matter. And she was, that doesn't matter well, if you're a Republican whatever. or a Democrat. You're, you're she was talking politics. about how socialism is great because I was watching something on TV about old comic books and stuff. <clears throat> and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I said, listen, I go to work every day. I got two, three jobs, you know. I'm like that Jamaican family yeah. from that TV show. Well, they ain't going. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I thought those people were amazing. I said, that, three jobs? I said, God damn, you're lazy if you only got three yeah. jobs. <laughs> We need four or five for sure. Three jobs. <laughs> it all the I actually knew some Jamaicans in high school that were that was what it was. It is. That's oh, you got to go home and just go and do your homework. I got to go to two jobs. <laughs> I'm not even out of high school. Bate clad. Yeah. It's a job. Yeah, be a bomb clad. Yeah, so I, that, that's either here or there. I will let you say this, guys. Sometimes when you guys come in here, I know everybody wants to hang out and do stuff cool. Sometimes we're looking at the screen or we're putting comics away. That's not actually working. We have to do a yeah. lot to make the shop move. And I, we don't want to be rude. Yeah. We'll say, what's up? Hey, what's going on? And we'll always help you with your purchases and everything else as much as we can. But it's but creepy when they stare at you. Don't stare at us. Yeah. Just sit there and not do anything. I think I know why. It's because he showed his picture when he was younger in the last game sale. Oh, like, oh, oh, you know what? So they're looking at him and they're going, yeah, well, you know, know, know what? what? Is that him? Yeah, yeah, you know what? That could have been it. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, I was yeah, hot. Was crazy. I was I was quite the yeah, catch yeah. back in the day, wasn't I? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, all the women well, looked away. He was like, yeah. before they, they, they I came. don't see it. I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. He was. If, if that's the case, that he was like, yeah. wow, look at this fine specimen packing comic books. Yeah. 
This man is amazing. He probably was thinking. He's looking at He's you. He's got three jobs. Yeah. God damn. No, it's more like when you know when you see that diseased monkey at the zoo. <laughs> or something, you just kind of keep looking at it. You don't want to look at it anymore. You're even getting a little sick. You know, but you're gonna look. You look at it. Yeah, but the hairless monkey oh, has a huge like, I was looking at that dying turtle at the aquarium. Yeah, yeah I won't forget that. Monkey. We have a customer that works at the aquarium. And uh, he walked in, and John went on a full on rant about why don't they shoot the turtles that are dying in the pond. <laughs> he's this guy, and he says, not my section. He's always like, hey, don't deal with the fucking turtle. And I'm like, you should shoot him. Or should feed him to the sharks, is what I said. Uh, you know, just throw him in the shark pit. Would, and I, you're... That, that that turtle, bro. Thank listen, God you're not a zookeeper. Listen, I swear to God. You'd be like, hey, that monkey died. Well, go the line. Fuck it. You know, that's all that. That's some good monkey you got going <laughs> bad. Throw it away. Feed it to the sharks. Now, can you imagine him writing a Ninja Turtles comic? Listen, no, 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 like Donatello no, no, no. like hurt his leg yeah. and he just comes out. I know. Just like, <laughs> like, no, I don't know. But I'm the smart one. I'm the king of Obviously, he hasn't read any of my books yet. I kill everything in my books. <laughs> You gotta read one of my books, but okay. There is a turtle in the aquarium. Yeah. There are a lot of people that hate the aquarium. Man. That the should be put out of its misery. Go to yeah. if you go to the aquarium. There's a section of the aquarium. It's old. It's fucked. It's in. like a they forest. They it for shit. Shut up. It's like a forest, and there's this sea turtle that looks like it got a chunk bitten off of it by a shark. Mm -hmm. So it's grow it's growing algae on it because it doesn't oh. swim right. Yeah. And it's like swim sideways, and it's got this bulbous projection coming out of its shell like a tumor, and that's what's keeping it floating. But it can't go down because the tumor. The tumor just is what's keeping it floating. Just lets it float so he can't fight the buoyancy of the tumor. Can you imagine families just watching through the screen and then you just see a guy come in with a shock? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. And he just walks away. In Venezuela, it's yeah, 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 they even pick it up and just like, Let's And all the kids are like, yeah. Yeah. Or just feed it to the shark. The shark, they have a shark pen. They could just drop oh, it in Jesus. there and see what happens. I don't know. It'll be or entertaining. In know. Venezuela, it's actually gotten so bad, but they're allowing people to go into the zoos and kill some of the older animals. Damn. Holy shit. It's messed up. And that goes back to why <laughs> communism doesn't work. Yeah. Anyway, going on. Future State Justice League issue two. This is also a conclusion. Uh, I have not read it. Anybody read it? I read the first one. The first one was good. I gotta, I gotta right. read that second one. And then we got... Damn, that's not too bad. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 56. So has anybody read that? Because I'm seriously thinking about jumping on the series. Uh, it's been really good. I have, so I, yeah. I have a couple of subscribers that they are adamant about Amazing Spider-Man. Like, it's really good. I think it's Spurrier that's still writing it. Is, is the Spider-Man in that story? Like Spencer, this, sorry. Is it like the same as the Donny Cates one and like Keenan Black when he writes? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I think I'm going to jump on it. Yeah, but I you got to find a good jumping on point. I know, I'm late as shit on it, but... Yeah. <clears throat> well, you can start at 50. Or binge. I got a 50? Or I got 50 yeah. already. Yeah. Or start buying... 50 like because the, uh, the there's a whole storyline with a character called Kindred, and this okay. is, I think, a reprint, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is a second printing. Yeah. This is the second pretty good. I, I actually uh, did read this story, so it is pretty good. I'm pretty yeah, sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure you can get already some of the collected editions. Uh, okay. or, yeah, I'm going to start from yeah. 50 see where it goes. By the way, 50 is already, like, exploded. It's, like, almost at 100 bucks. Depending on what 50 you're talking about. Well, no, the original. Like, the first print, the, when it first came out, uh, the black one, the black and white. Um, are you talking about 55 or the black and white 55, one? I'm sorry. 55. Yeah. Oh, the oh, yeah. 55, the one for the Yeah, they just, they just um, offered issue uh, third printing. Blue. Oh, it's coming out three. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the second one was cool, the red one. Yeah, we sold that one too. We have yeah. one left. So the third printing, how many should I order? So it, they've come. I out. don't know. How many did you order the, the first? We got ten, the, right? Yeah, ten. 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 ten again? I don't think anybody's gonna pick up the third printing. You think so? Well, anybody want? It's, it's red, white, and sides. blue. Yeah. yeah. Any patriotic yeah. American? I don't know. Uh, it's a third printing, guys. I understand people, well, if you didn't read it, you gotta pick it up. Yeah, but there are people who are gonna want that blue cover. You know? I like that cover that's there right now. That's a badass cover. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Moving forward, Power Pack. Number three, because it is the outlaw thing. I haven't read it. Looks interesting. You like Power Pack? Little kids. Yeah. With powers. Yeah. We have number one. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. start catching up, we do have number one. That was a TV show for a little while, wasn't it? Yep. So I don't even know. I don't want to even get into the other ones because we haven't read it. So how do you review it? How do you even say to anybody, hey, read this thing? Well, we can analyze the cover. 
just analyze the cover. cover. Literally judge a book by its cover. Exactly. That'll be the, the angle of this comic review show. We'll just be well, like, well, nah. honestly, other, other books that we wanted to read are gone. Yeah, like the ones that we read. The ones yeah, it's like everybody did leave you know, us. I still can't fucking ever get to read, and I just don't want to open the expensive copies of Last Republic, Star Wars Last Republic. Mm-hmm. Number one. I read it. I didn't fucking ever read it. Though. I read Star Wars Last Republic. Every time I got to read it. I had to read it today. I, I didn't read Adventures. Star Wars Last Republic I was. I read it today, and Joe took it. Was a it good was, was a good book. Uh, we have number ones if you guys want to read it. I, mean, I, I can put one off the shelf. Oh boy. Star Wars Last Republic number one. Mm-hmm. So it was good. I think it could have been a little bit oh, stronger. Here goes. It could have been a little bit stronger. Uh, yeah, Chris Coder didn't like. Let's see. Okay, hold on. We got X Force was good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Marlin, all right, yeah, we got X-Force. Marlin recommends X-Force for all your daily needs. If you want to use the X-Force, then the side effects include bloating, uh, farting. King of Black, Black Knight was kind of lame. Really? I thought Black Knight was, was pretty good, Chris. Um, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it's a good setup, and he's a selfish character, and some of the other stuff. Mary, I will definitely probably read your copy when I get a chance. And Marlon says, Thank, uh, thanks, John, for getting me the sword. Actually, he didn't get you sword. I got you sword. And somebody else didn't pick it up and made sure you got it. So it's in your pool. That was me. Damn. But John was on the hunt for all that shit. Yes. Oh, we have five of them coming. All right. So there's five swords coming and five more of... Uh, I forgot what other thing I ordered. Yeah, we're going to have to make a King and Black uh-huh. section soon. Yeah. When I mean, everything sells out. But we did order five more of sword. So if you, if anybody didn't get oh some, my god, you really want the music on today? I do. He's in the I'm not gonna do it now. He's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. But now that I told you anything, <laughs> he's in the background fucking connecting speed. Hey, you know what, shit. man? You know I, I I do a lot around here. Come on, you let me have one thing. Thank you, Marlon. I think that's that one screwed into the wall, John. I'm not sure. Oh, it is. Yeah, you might, might be. No, I'm fine. I'll figure it out. He, he's, he's gonna figure it out, folks. Somehow. Oh, that's, wait, 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 wait. that's what I do. I figure things out. But well, you guys can keep talking without me. You don't need to. You don't need to watch me. What am I like? Am I, am I, are you guys yeah, gonna be like no, this guy? Because like, you're in the background doing stuff. I don't know. But you're in the background pulling wires and speakers. I, I do out shit like, like that. You know that. I'm just modus around. I guess. Oh, look, and then there's High Republic number two. So if yeah. you guys want to catch up to it, these are the more expensive copies. Uh, this is the this one's the sold out one that everybody wants. I think it's going for. $99. Do better than that if they like it. And Make an offer. $6.99 on issue two. Uh, there you go. You just, oh, yeah, yeah, right now there. you just uh, hit Johnny. Wait, uh, oh my God. But he, need, he needed to get shit. hit. Did Thanos get fucked up in there? No, but he did oh. move around quite a bit. Okay, I'm a soft. He doesn't like that for a while. Oh, he has? Yeah. This one? I don't know why it's like that. You know, you try to take over the world, you're bound to take a couple dings. Yeah. Well, you, get a, you hit a pretty big ding right there. Oh, look at Johnny. Oh, there goes another one. There goes speaking dings. of dings. Just in case you guys are being notified when Johnny gets his text, because that's what part of the show. It's comic reviews, and when <laughs> does Johnny <laughs> get his fucking... I've text. tried to turn it off several times. It just does not listen you, to it. Doesn't have like a silent button, like the one that you switch over and click? D- dude, I do, but it's separate from the main button. Okay, okay, so yeah, don't right. talk shit about Apple. All right. Exactly. Our button works. So, this is what happens when you use a droid. Why are you uh, opening it? To fix it. Oh. Wait, it's like a fucking Three Stooges You might as well just put it Yeah, so you guys know we're not being, like, silent for no reason. It's just you have John and Little John in the background. He's got a concussion. Doing an Abbott Costello fucking, like, impression. Just, you know. There. My, my favorite skin from Abbott and yeah, yes, was the Susquehanna hat one. Love that uh, one. Fabian says, Lola John's text alert startled me. See, you're startling people. You're scaring them. <laughs> I will figure it out for the next time. I promise. You're not figuring out how to put that thing back in a box. Jesus Christ. It looks like one of those animals trapped in a cage or something trying to scratch its way out. Like, it's I, a, it, it, I got it. It's it's a packaging. It's not the Rubik's cube. That's why everybody hates him, man. I swear to God, he's so fucking frustrated with this guy. I just want to punch him in the teeth sometime. God, 
stop it already. <laughs> I'm closing it. It's like I've it's breathing. It's, it's everything. It's, it's just not one simple thing. It's just like it's breathing. It's just oh, exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's like so much. It's just a God, man. All right, go. No. Sorry about that. All right. All right, I want to bring in a collection jar to save up the $5,000 I need mean, to get my nose fixed. There you go. We're going to do that. You want to do that? We're you know what? Money you know what? To get Little John's deviated septum fixed. We're going to fix Little John's deviated septum by yeah. throwing bologna at him. Wait, throw it for every dollar you give us, we throw a piece of bologna. A piece of bologna. Oh, you got to come and throw bologna at him. Dude, that's yeah, a lot of bologna. bologna. You that? Yeah. Well, we, can, we can just can the, we do that like a booth. Wait, oh, a, a bologna booth. throwing booth. A bologna throwing booth. I would like to do that. For more money, you can put like mustard or ketchup on it. No, yeah. Oh my god, that would be so fucking awesome. You can do a little bit more, you know, just like. (laughs) Okay. All right, we we we're we're going off the rail here. Uh, All right, people are having shots now. This is what happens when they watch our claim sale. They start drinking. (laughs) It'll drive you to alcoholism, like being in comics. For sure. Okay, so yeah, they're drinking. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. I feel like Re- we're, we're Rebecca, walk- it's Rebecca starting. Yeah, it. yeah, it's like yeah, slowly it's just gonna turn into a small orgy, and oh, just, exactly. like, we're, we're just gonna walk away from the screen like okay, we're, like, we're we're pretty cool. Yeah, we can yeah. start an orgy. That'd be cool. Yeah. I haven't been to an orgy in a long time. Been a long time. Been a long time. I miss them orgies. <laughs> okay, so been I haven't been in since I've been in an orgy. No one wants to touch my pecker. I haven't brought it up on the show before, but like I was saying, you guys, if you guys, if somebody wanted to have their book reviewed on the show, you guys would be willing to do For it. For sure. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna tear it apart. Yeah, we will. We will not be. If your book sucks. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna. I have to say it has to be a physical book. Yeah. Because I've had a couple of people send me stuff and they want to do it virtually, and it's like, how do I show that? You know, like. Well, there are ways. I mean, we could put the book. I on am the not TV. funding over. That is my whole point is I have a physical book to show people. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, also on there, national anthem continues going strong in Thunderbolts issue two. That's another fantastic cover for national anthem. Is it insane? Is the cover insane? I said fantastic. I said fantastic. You know, it's the alter discourse. Why see what I told you? What did I tell you? I, fuck, gotta, I fucking hate gotta be him. Fucking strong. Every day that I, I see him, him, I hate him more and more. Have you ever seen how they move elephants in the circus? No, but if if, if I did, I I'd want to do that. You know how they move elephants in the they circus? They whip them. They, no, they don't whip them. They don't whip them. Easiest thing in the world. Male elephants, because the female elephants will follow male elephants, so they need to move. They have a fucking uh, rod, and there's a loop at the end. Oh, yeah. And they put it right on the balls, and they oh, tighten the loop. We, we need and to do you that. You can too. move an elephant like that. <laughs> we need to. You can make the elephant fucking dance. It's like, <laughs> like, where do you want me to go, boss? <laughs> All I know is, don't let go of that fucking thing. We need to. The day you let go of that fucking, you see the small one like that, and it goes shit, and it's like that. We just move little John around. Like, put that up. Put that over there. Pick up that box. That would be I amazing. If you loop, we can do that little John. Uh, you loop anybody by the balls, I think they'll. Oh, be here right. comes somebody yeah. now. Oh, God. We're not now, playing magic now, Jesus. Now, just for the children, the Jesus section. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus comes out and he starts dancing for everybody. Oh, oh, oh. something happened. Uh, Little John always is conducting. Little John, Jesus. drug deals not in the store, man. You did, I told you outside the fucking. Store. I fucking hate this guy, man. I swear to God. He's going to the shop. You know what? Yeah, well, you know, just, 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 uh, Karen Zorrell, number one. That's a reprint. If you're into Supergirl, Superwoman. Um, Andre, what else did you read this week? Because you seem uh, to be I am cool. super hyped to read um, Wolverine, Black, White, and Black. You know what? We sold out of that one too. Black, uh, White, and Red. Oh, I yeah. that, that, that awesome, awesome book. Issue book. three, five. flu. I didn't get the fucking reading. And three has a story by Tony Case. I'm I'm reading on Tony Case. So yeah, I'm fucking reading that. Yeah, shit. you could you could cosplay as Tony Case. You know that? <laughs> you just saw him on Instagram, lady. I'm like, you know what? Could you have a fatter beard. Yeah, 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 you'd have to dye your hair pink. Not necessarily. Iron Man only didn't have the pink hair. He uses jean jackets, buttons, yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd have to get some, like, I don't know, some we like, do, prosthetic we sleeves. We should yeah. do that. It's just comic creator uh, cosplay. Like, that's all we... I can do Alan Moore. Yeah. I just get my beard. Who can do Stanley? That'd be cool. Yeah. Huh? Who can do Stanley? I think he's John right here. Stanley. He's invisible. We'll get him the shaded glasses. We yeah. gray his hair a little bit more, slick it back. 
we'll have him do like sales here. That would be cool. Yeah. I would love to be Stanley. <clears throat> yeah. I would love it. I, I, I would yeah, have to lose yeah. like 100 pounds. Yeah. yeah he's very fit. He's a skinny yeah. dude, yeah. 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 Poor guy. It was, it was 94 fucking Nah, they should have Stan Lee should have been frozen <laughs> For what? <laughs> For what? Stan Lee should have been he frozen have and the been, first superhero comes And, and, and he should have <laughs> brought back to life uh-huh. in, in, in whenever the ability to so, bring back Let him does. fucking so die No, no, <laughs> no Stan Lee should have never died People who should have never died They should have put a Walt Disney Stan Lee list. Prince should have never died. I can't remember Michael Jackson. Jackson. Okay, Michael Jackson should have died because he played with the little boys. If the, if it would have uh, been for the little boys, thing, yeah, well, allegedly. allegedly, if he allegedly. if he was innocent, then yeah, Michael Jackson should still yeah, be going alive. Forward. Angel says, waiting for footage of little John getting hit with baloney. It's coming. I'm it's telling you, man, <laughs> this is this is getting a thing of a uh, thing. Well, we we need to have you people tell us that you want to see this. If you guys people really want to see this, uh, just say do yes. It. On the text. Yes. Or do it, or this whatever. Is or baloney. Uh, this is uh, issue five of National Anthem, uh, Alex. Uh, Just type baloney yeah. below, and we'll know that you want to see Little John get whaled on with baloney. Or we have the meats. Are they heat plane? I don't know. Rick took a swig of crown and can't take shots watching the heat game watching the show. Is it the <laughs> arc? I'm pretty sure this is a lot more entertaining than the heat camera. A swig is not necessarily a shot. Oh, Barry said baloney. Uh, Say baloney. Say baloney. And she misspelled it too. B A L O N I E. Is it B O L O G I? Another G. And you have to say that. Can't spell anything else, but he can spell baloney. Thanks to a. As long as it's a jingle. He can spell Oscar Mayer, right? There you go. We think we got four people saying it. Say baloney. Write baloney on. on the comments. No, they say do it. They say baloney. They say baloney. yes. And the drug deals keep coming in. I know. What is this? Do it in the south. Just swing them on the oh, no. Okay, whatever. It looks like you're going to get hit with baloney. Now, do you have any preference on the baloney that you wish to be thrown? Let's make it vegan. No, what, what, ah, what, no, 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 it's got to be real bologna. It's got to be real bologna, first off. Are you a pork bologna, or are you like, you know... No, not pork. No, you know, beef? Not pork. And we'll bring it a stray dog, dog sure. that it can eat the bologna <laughs> off of him. Well, we could do something with the animal <laughs> shelter, so it could be like an adoption thing at the same time. No, I, I can so see it. So we can help people get the animals adopted. I don't think anybody's going to adopt a dog after this. After you ate bologna off the dog. They won't be able to see the dog in the eyes again, man. Yeah. That would be awesome if the dog is just <laughs> licking him, eating bologna off him. Yeah. And he's just on the floor laughing while the dog is eating bologna off him. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. Kid Valerie says, I didn't know we had a, a grammar police. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just it was funny that you spelled bologna. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was bologna, and I was just like, all right. Maybe she's just fancy. She spelled it like that. Bologna. Like, ah, bologna. bologna. Yeah, bologna. I like my bologna. Chizay. Chizay. Bologna. 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 Yeah. I'm my Briad. There you go. She's fancy like that. A like complete that. unsliced bologna. 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> just knock his ass out. We just get the block from fucking Publix. There you go. I think there's that one guy. I don't know. I brought my own. I brought my own. Hey, what is that? I brought my own. <laughs> we met Oscar Bar Slice. Come on, guys. Oh, it's a fucking crime scene. Be very <laughs> so go over this again. You were throwing bologna at him for why? Well, officer, it has deviated septum. <laughs> we're trying to fix it. Fix it. Yeah. You're all going to jail. <laughs> you shouldn't be out in the public. No, no. Knowing some of the cops I knew, they'll probably join in. Yeah, hey, well, uh, I'll contribute. There you go. So yeah, this is to get Johnny's uh, breathing problem fixed. Yeah. yeah. You get a dollar, you throw baloney at him. Yes, it will be doing a nice it. calls. Um, <sighs> so anyway, so going okay. forward. Yeah, National Anthem. Yeah, National Anthem. Yeah, that's uh, issue five. It's written by the singer from My Chemical Romance. Love that guy. Uh, he did also Umbrella Academy. This is his look at superheroes. And again, yet another post-apocalyptic okay. world. It is a post-apocalyptic world, but he did it really a way cooler than 
Yeah, it's this not guy. Episode. Uh, this guy, he's a really good writer. Uh, and he, it's like these different gangs and different sets that he created. That is really cool. I didn't get into it, into it, because it's just, I don't know. I, 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 I like writing it. kind of piss, not that piss around is just not my thing, but oh. it's always been good. Well, he's very wordy. It's not wordy. Uh, it's just something about it sometimes that, like, the characters, I don't like them. There, there are a lot of these, like, eh, what's nice? Yeah, he does writing. do that. Well, and he, I just hate those characters. He does do that a lot. Like I he, don't blame him. That's his world. That's where he's coming from. And, and like, the, the character in in, uh, in, the, in the TV show, from Umbrella? Umbrella kind of thing. Mm-hmm. The girl. I it's girl. Always like, uh, do you know names? Any names? I, I forget. The girl, that's always there. Uh, Anya. Uh, 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 Anya. Anya, yeah. Oh, God, I can't stand her. Well, God, well, her, she has a reason, dude. Her whole family lied to her. They didn't tell her that she had powers. Her father treated her like shit. Like, I said, she's a post-apocalyptic weapon from hell. Like, yeah, she had a... She kind of had a reason to be Everybody has issues. My thing is, she, he, he introduces characters like that, and they're always this kind of weird I, inner dialogue that I'm just like, God, fuck you. I, I really think I, I, I'm just not into it. I think it's a great book, but I'm just not into I, it. I think Vinus, she just get over herself. Yeah, she, she ended the world, that's all. Just, no, they, they stopped it. Yeah, but she still has a memory of, of it happening, so. Yeah. God, I can't stand people like that. Those are just weak people. It's not weak people. It's just that they went through a major trauma. I get trauma every day. <laughs> yeah, from your diet. From yeah. eating all the fucking garbage you eat. Yeah, yeah. And I just go and throw it up. Okay. That's yeah, what you do. When you have a trauma, yeah. you go and throw it up. Yeah. There you go. I hope you didn't throw up the spaghetti. No, that spaghetti was delicious. New pizza place around the corner. What's it called, Little John? Uh, tropical uh, Pizza. And I like you made that up. I have the money with her. It's a. Uh, no, no. They're not a sponsor. Are they giving you money or something, or what the hell? Yeah, but I saw Tropical. Yeah, he's so chubby guy. He's good. They're on the corner. We went on the, you know, up out our local guys. It looked really good. I didn't need it today because I. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're a pig, so I don't know. No, I actually don't like anything. It's better than Ray's Pizza Spaghetti. There you heard it here first, folks. And I and I like Ray's Pizza. Maybe it was like Cuban Pizza, but I feel like when he said that, it was like a dog, like Cuban Pizza. <laughs> 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 Yeah, if you like Cuban like, pizza, this is some of the better Cuban pizza I've had. Yeah. It's, it has a nice crunch What to makes it. Cuban pizza Cuban pizza? It's more oh, dough. My girlfriend can answer that. She'll put it in the comments right now. Yeah, yeah. It's more dough than any other pizzas. It's thicker. There's less cheese and sauce. But it's still greasier than most pizzas. Yes. Yeah. And the spaghetti is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Cuban like spaghetti it. with all that cheese and they threw picadillo in there? The sauce is so weak, there's no sauce. No, no, no this, was, this was good. Yeah, this was it was picadillo. Because sometimes I think, yeah, the picadillo, I try that fucking comer maduro and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I would have thrown put some platanitos in there. Ah, of course. You could have, you could have. Yeah. Yeah. They do it with platanitos? Yeah. Oh, that's fire. I'm doing that next they, time. They have both Picadillo, platanitos, spaghetti, I'm there. That is hard. It's an odd combination, but I don't mind it. It has that sweet and savory to it. Rick's New York is great when it's fucking open. I mean, Nick's New York. Nick is never fucking open. He's scared he of COVID. Sell, it is fucking so. Uh, uh, There's no slices. He, he, he does, but not not lately anymore because of COVID. You know? He's scared of COVID, or he's a fat guy. Did he eat? Well, pizza he makers are not fat COVID? guys. Most pizza makers are fat guys. Oh, he's just scared of it. The only pizza I'll have from there is the truffle pizza. Ah, look, Carla Lagonia said, "Yeah, it's cooked in a skillet in a skillet." That's how you get the crust. No worry, I was just gonna put like, each step on how to make it. That, that's like New York dog. pizza. Alex Gobble says Polo Norte has a Maduro and shrimp pizza. Yeah. I like that picadillo and, and Maduro. That's the thing about about Cuban pizza. Well, right? My, my Alvarado uh, says, "Wait, bro, plantains and spaghetti is the best thing ever." For sure, <laughs> it is. Damn, that's just like starch with that. starch. Yeah, never. That's just <laughs> like <laughs> you need some meat in there, so you get the sweet and the savory. Delicious, bro. Wait, did you say picadillo? So I like to get fries. Never. Is that is that a picadillo? Yeah. Oh, the picadillo it is, is it? it is something. It is really good, but you uh, more than a slice is disgusting. It's just so much. No, so much. It's crazy. I'm just thinking like it's like. I, I, I had it when you brought it. I, I know, eat it. I eat it. I'm like. No, I, don't I, don't know. I couldn't that, get a second. That's piece. A, that's you your know, you'll eat that first slice, right? And you're good. Like, and then you go, I'll get a second slice. And then there's like, that, but that, oh, holy that's shit. That's your Mexican side, because look, you ate all those tacos and you were fine. I ate all those tacos and I was dying. Well, there you go. Genetics. I eat genetics. You know, genetics, your Mexican so. side overcome. Okay? Your, I had 12 tacos. They love a fucking taco. Pla- Cuban pizza, platanitos de picayo is No, what I did is do is put a bunch of fucking crap on it. I told you not to put that 
lemon salt, whatever the fuck. Man, I was dying that day. Because oh, yeah, I told you, even in Mexico, they did. They, they, Mexico, we shouldn't regulate shit. They're thinking about regulating that stuff because the kids are getting all fucked up. Damn. Because it burns your fucking but stomach. They, they make candy out of that. That's why the kids are all fucked up. <laughs> they got the colons of 80 year olds. We were actually talking about the one of my favorite things to eat is the spiced mango, the Mexican style spiced mangoes. Fabian says Taco Bell, taco pizza? That sucks. I don't know, man. Don't know I've been well. hating Taco Bell lately. I've been really it, it, hating Taco Bell. It always Bell. seems like a good idea, but then you yeah, eat man. it. Like, and, then uh, it's just like, and then afterwards, it's just like... Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what fucked me up the other day? Chipotle. Really? Chipotle, Chipotle hasn't really fucked me up for the longest time. People, I Chipotle the People day. die from Chipotle. What are you talking and, about? Well, Chipotle what? never fucked me up before. No, no. And Chipotle just fucked me up the other day. People, people die, and they're stuck. I wanted somebody in the bathroom holding my hand. I thought I was delivering a baby. I was doing the boss. I was like... You should have called it. That would have been over like two seconds. I see the head. She both it kills people. He is crowding. Terrible. Anyway, anyways. So I think that's all the comics that we we're gonna review. I think so too. We did our food review. Have you guys recommended any crisis? It looks like a. It's gonna I haven't read reading it. I haven't read that issue yet. I've been enjoying because I'm a fan of C. Rolando. Um, the one thing I've noticed the tone tends to shift from issue to issue. But what is it about? Like just like is it like the boys kind of? Or? No, no, no. Okay. It, it's, it's, it's it's like the boys if they were all throwing each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to take the boys the boys, and then put a cock in your mouth, and that's pretty much. Command is a crisis. Command is a crisis. <laughs> it seemed like a cool setup. I think it was a lot of way out, but there's also a lot of like heavy-handed, yeah. kind of like oh, we have a gay guy. Here's the United uh, Colors, the color, colors of Bennington thing. Yeah, right? gotcha. and I hate it when people hit me over the head with that. That's the only thing. He yeah, hasn't I, confirmed I, it yet, I, I don't but I'm it, pretty but sure one of the main characters is him. I mean, but, yeah, but, he, but he's just so... In, he, is he really that into himself? Is, is he that narcissistic that he has to write a comic book Dude. and put himself uh, in the fucking book? Put himself on one of the comics. I don't do that. I, we don't do that. What are you talking about? The, the gun, the main character's name is John. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> and he's a failed writer. No, but I, I'm making fun of myself there. Oh, you're being ironic. Yeah, exactly. self oh, okay. It's hard for John to defend himself since he's trying to hook up a fucking speaker. Oh, my God. Anyway, I think we did everything. What else? No, I no, no, no. I recommended I'm... one and didn't like it. Yeah, baby. And then same year, I couldn't get into it. I have a couple of people that like it. We get the really, really gay covers, and we only give it the little John. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> he only gets the big homoerotic covers. Not that we're judging. No, no. Not that there's anything no, no, wrong no. with that. Okay, he did... Uh... Batman Shadow, which I really enjoyed. I think you read a couple of issues of Batman Shadow. No. And he's still a lot I of good books. but I didn't, couldn't get into it. But Little John does like the really gay <laughs> Can we show him one of the gay covers? Though? He has them all. Oh, he has them all. He, he has, has them all. He hasn't collected. I have them in my shop. I don't they have them. Yeah. He has I them. Have I have plastic. I have, no, no. I have one of my pull list, actually. Go get it. We're going to show... <laughs> The cover that Johnny likes. Oh my god, taking forever here. I was gonna wrap up the show. It's not my fault. Damn it. And then hit the watch. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. We should put the trailer on. He's getting it. Yeah, I know something. It's we should like, play that. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. We just said yeah. Jeopardy. Oh, Jeopardy. Why are you what showing up? <laughs> Show <Charges>. this. <laughs> What is that? Uh, here's, there you go. Yeah. I put it in front of my camera. That's the one he had it framed. Yeah. Johnny likes that. He likes those covers. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So, that's as gay as nine guys below <laughs> ten guys. And that makes it better. Yeah, it's, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. I remember seeing, uh, there was a, a publishing group that we used to go to San Diego Comic Con. And they were called Gay Comics. And Sam Keith did some covers for Gay Comics. I think they had some really good shit. You know? You know? So I'm all for it. I mean, I think it's hard. But I reserve my right to laugh. <laughs> and make fun of it. Like, I make fun of everything else. That's exactly. safe with me. The uh, other day, in the back issues, we had one of uh, one of our uh, comics in the back. And I'm going to say it. But uh, this guy, Julio Valley, found the thing. And it was really bad because it was called uh, N NWP, Niggas with Powers. <laughs> And I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, yeah. that's the one. That's and, I, and I was like, we actually wanted to take it from him. Like, no, we're yeah, yeah. like, we can't. We can't. You can't tell you that now. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to keep it because it was. Okay, that's with the hard ER. Yeah. yeah. 
It was cool though. I liked it. That was kind of cool. It was yeah. like three or four pages. Yeah, we yeah we were all, we were kind of fighting for it. Yeah, I know. We we're like, yeah, can I, can I get that? Dude, I want that. I kind of want to see that book. NWP, man, that shit. I'll, I'll fucking buy it. That's yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Black as Fuck. Fabian says, "I Bobby." Those are the covers you like. <laughs> you have to special order them. Those are the one in two hundred fifty covers. Anyway, I think we've exhausted ourselves and everything else, and we are going to get out of here, uh, guys. We will be back on Sunday for our regular claim sale. We will be doing a lot of pops, a lot of everything. This time, there's no Super Bowl. There's not a, too many other things in the way, so we'll make it a bigger deal. We'll have more comics for you this Sunday. I put stuff together. As always, you're open 12 to 9 p.m. every day. And uh, what else? Um, if you don't want to miss anything, Did that thing nothing works for me. Die? Nothing Suck. works for me, man. That was horrible. I did. That oh well. No, play. no wrap up music this time. No, play it off your phone. It doesn't want to do it. It hates me today. Oh my god, this guy. I'm very, very da, sad. Da, da, da. You always ruin everything for me, oh little John. God. I did not touch that radio. It looks like somebody took a hammer to it. Oh well. I tried. Oh, there you go. There we go. So, guys, we, there. Will be back we on did it. Sunday with our regular show, 4 p.m. Same thing. I like to thank Andre and Andre for having me. Thank you, Andre. Uh, and if you would like to be a guest reviewer, on Thursdays at 9 p.m., let us know. We want to see our more of the customers on here. Uh, let us know if any other comments you guys this week, and uh, we will be back soon. And if you like one of your book reviews, what? And if you like one of your book reviews, and if you want to get one of your book reviews, we will send it to Goblin Type, D O B L I N S H E I X T I T R dot com, and we'll take a look at it. We rather have a physical book than a PDF book. So thank you guys so much for tonight. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I'll finish. I know.